About 200 dead bodies are still on Mount Everest because it's more effort and risk than it's worth to retrieve them. Some of them serve as progress markers for other climbers. There are people who were lower down who actually made it to the summit, but then died on the descent. In fact, that's actually the most common reason. They use all their energy getting to the top, and by that time they've run out of daylight, oxygen and energy. They're effed, and on the descent they end up stranded and unable to continue. A few months ago I binge-watched videos on Everest for like a solid week, I don't know, I was fascinated by it. And it's right, that's the one thing they mentioned, as one of the many contributing factors of the cause of death. That turnaround time is there for a reason. Doesn't it take an entire day to climb in and out of the death zone? Which means you have to start in the middle of the night, climbing with limited oxygen, limited energy, and face an entire day trudging up this thing and then down in conditions that really could be good or bad. It's such a risk, I don't really understand it. Isn't the Hillary step gone now? I think by the time you choose to climb Mount Everest and have spent the money and are on your way to Nepal, your chances of dying have just increased drastically without you even thinking about it. You've thought about it, but you put it out of your mind because you didn't go there to die and it's not going to happen. That's your logic there. I think people figure I've spent all this money, come all this way, spent all this time, months in fact, acclimating my body to the air and the cold, shaving one or two hours off the turnaround time won't make a difference. The summit is right there. But when I get to the summit, I want to spend 20 min to a half hour or more to get my 360 degree view in, and pictures and video and praying. That is, if I can get past this bottleneck of two to three digit amounts of people who are thinking the exact same thing. It's just like, logic goes out the window, flies out of your city, out of your country, over to Nepal or Tibet, and freezes on your dead body at 29,000 plus feet. It's mind-bogglingly fascinating and sad. Would you ever climb Everest, regardless of the risks?